Hello, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess. This is your love reading, a week, weekly love reading. We've just had Bear come out for you. We'll pull out one more card. So we're going to pull out a couple of animal spirit cards to look at the dynamics of the relationship. And then we will pull some cards for past, present and future energies. There will also be a deep read, an extended reading in Vimeo if you would like to go there and uh, check that out. We'll have a look at how your person feels about you, delve into that a bit deeper. Maybe we'll, we'll look at some future actions that they might be taking and also we might go one step beyond the future of this outcome. We might go and have a sticky beak a bit further down the track and see what comes out. So Libra, we have zebra and we have bear. So this is, I feel like this is a very creative partnership that's come out here with the zebra and bear. I actually feel like your zebra and the person you're dealing with is bear, but of course that's something that you can um, you can reverse the placements. This is a general reading, so parts of it may or may not resonate. Uh, I do feel like you're dealing with someone here who has a big vision and they're actually seeing you as the person that can help them make this vision come true. There is this sense that they really appreciate your gifts and abilities that you're bringing to the table here. And I feel like there's a collaboration of sorts happening on some sort of creative partnership or project. And I don't necessarily feel like one person is the leader, one person's the one with the grand vision. And I don't necessarily feel like, I feel like that might be the other person you're dealing with here. But of course, like I said, you can replace the the placements. But yes, feels very equal in terms of the skills that you bring and the respect between the two of you. And it just feels like one person's kind of driving it a bit more, maybe not so much leadership because it does feel like there's an equality between the two of you. I'm just trying to get this bare energy is really like this is someone that's come out of a period with of hibernation where they've gone without for a long time. They might have actually just been hiding parts of themselves and so they've got this vision to actually come out into the world and maybe starting a new starting something new but they want you alongside them so and they they need your skills is the kind of energy I'm getting with that Libra so but it feels like a nice a nice partnership it does feel very it feels like there's a lot of flow of energy between the two of you that you could bounce ideas and concepts off, that you work well together. So, yeah, it's a really nice combo. So let's pull some cards for the past, the present and the future for this connection that's coming in for you, Libra. But, yeah, I do feel like even if this is like a romantic, this could definitely be a romantic partnership, but I feel like it's you're working on something as well. So it could be you're starting business together or something like that, Libra, or there's just something big in your life that you're working on. So we've got in the recent past the Five of Wands, the Three of Wands and the Ace of Swords. There's the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups for the future. And I mean, sorry, for the present energies and for the future, we've got the death card, the king of cups and the page of swords. OK, interesting. So you've got two aces as well that have come up here. So there's definitely something new that you <clears throat> a new energy that you're working towards. So let's look at the recent past. This energy looks like there's been some kind of uh, breakthrough recently. There was conflict. There was a lot of conflict. Someone was really looking for success here, putting a lot of things out, wanting stuff to come back. And so I think ultimately it was an initial start to a bigger vision that's occurred here. But, yeah, there's conflict around what direction to head in, looking for that initial success, all of that kind of stuff. But then in comes this brilliant uh, idea or new direction that comes in, this realisation that just clarifies everything clarifies all the confusion around looking for a direction, but it feels like the motivation behind it is success. So that's why I feel like there is very much a, a business element to this as well as a soulmate connection. So it's kind of got that energy to it. For the present energies, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. 
So this is kind of taking matters into your own hands and going, you know, let's just do what we love here. It could actually be doing something, establishing something between the two of you, something quite solid, making your own rules as well. So that's kind of the energy that's coming through with this Hierophant. It does also have this sense of perhaps you, for some of you are feeling quite divinely inspired, you're quite intuitive and connecting in. There could be some meditation and manifesting that's happening here. But there's some serious, uh, does feel like very successful manifestation with this energy that's occurring. So very, very powerful. It's definitely on a good solid ground. It's definitely got reasons to, there's healing around this and blessings as well. So yeah, really, really positive. It's like you've evolved from this energy of unsurety and now uh, some clarity to now that it's clear we're going to solidify this and make this into something and have a clearer direction for it. So, yeah, and there's blessings either way. In the future, we have the Death Card, the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. So, yeah, this is transforming. It is transforming and you've kind of asked for this. You've asked for this collaboration. You've asked for this change. Not necessarily going to be easy because you're stepping outside your comfort zone. You're stepping into a bigger arena, perhaps. You're stepping into an area where you may have even been hurt in the past, which is one of the reasons why I think either both of you or one of you, particularly a person, may have shut down in the past, but tentatively stepping out into the world and actually making it happen. And this is shifting and changing. So it's this change and transformation is going to happen anyway, Libra. And it's just a matter of at first, it's kind of a bit scary. It's a bit scary because it's moving into a whole other arena and realm here. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, you've asked for this. But sometimes when it's something so big and amazing, at first you can get like, I just want to dip my toes into this energy. I just want to kind of suss it out. I just want to get some more information. There's more studying. There's more learning that needs to be done here. So it's it's still a preparation phase, but it's almost like you're kind of being pushed. <laughs> you're getting a bit of a push from the universe. And it's kind of like, I feel like one of you might be wanting to like, dig your heels in, just kind of going slow down, not saying don't want to do it, but just slow down. I don't know if I'm quite ready for this yet. So, but the universe is just going, no, this is where you're moving to this whole new, new uh, transformative space. So it feels very powerful. That's why it feels very collaborative because it feels like you're both on this journey together. And it's like when one person ends, the other person begins kind of energy that you both complement each other. So one person, as we go through this big change and solidification that's happening here, one person is more open to this and other person's digging their heels in. And it's like, you know, you're that's where you can complement each other because you can help them make that transition because it's a big transition for them. There's a reason why they've hidden that part of themselves for such a long time. So, and vice versa, when you're ready to not step out of your comfort zone, your, your partner, your person will be. And so they'll kind of go, come on and pull you along. So you kind of, yeah, got the complementary strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> But yes, uh, it's kind of like uh, the flow. I'm just seeing the flow like this sort of infinity symbol so that when one person gets blocked and falters, the other person helps them unblock. Okay, let's get a message from the angels around this. Let's get a message from the angels for you, Libra. What do we want to say? What do you want to say to Libra? Just put that card in there. Oh, this is it. Just fully bounced out, Libra communicate clearly. Okay. So yes, I would say that's very, it's kind of obvious what that's saying really, isn't it? But I would say it's the communication between the two of you. That's really important, but that does feel like that's very clear, but it's important to make sure because this is a big thing that you're moving into, there's a big transformation happening here. It is important that you both kind of know, you check in with each other and know where you're at. Don't just assume that you know where the other person's at because they might not be at where you think they're at. I'm also getting this communicate clearly is to do with because it feels like, feels like this push is kind of moving you into an external space outside of your relationship. So that requires some very clear communication. 
So whether it's uh, telling people what you want, sort of business contracts, whether it's marketing, emails, whatever it is, it's very clearly state what it is that you want to do, what you're doing, communicate very clearly what it is. So I think the clearer your communication, the smoother the ride it's going to be. Okay, one final card from the universe as a message from soul and spirit around about this connection. So let's pull a card for you, Libra, about this. And we'll delve in a few a bit deeper and find out how they feel about you and what sort of actions they might be taking and delve in. Let's have we'll have a look a bit what's happening a bit further beyond this reading, what lies ahead after this. So we have, wow, that's beautiful. We have infinite blessings. So it feels very much like this journey that you're on with this other person is actually blessed. It has been blessed by the universe. And it does feel like there's a real soulmate connection here. So I feel like this is an expansion for both of you and it's both very complimentary. So I hope that makes sense, Libra, for some of you. If you would like to delve into the deeper read and we'll look at some more, pull out some more cards around this, then the link will be in the description box below. So just click on the one that says extended reading. And if this is where I leave you, then thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care, Libra, and I'll see you next time. Bye.